Hey friends, today we've got the Model 28 Programmable Tap Clock, which is a fantastically brilliant uh, device from Plan B. It's basically a tap tempo input device which has several beat division outputs, quarter note, eighth note, and eighth note triplets. Um, in addition to that, there's accent outputs for the eighth notes and eighth note triplets. The articulation switches here control whether or not you hear the eighth note or the eighth note triplets, or whether or not there's pulses coming out the accent outputs. So if this, all the switches are in the center, you basically, there's no accents, and you hear every eighth note and every eighth note triplet. In the up position, it signifies there's an accent, as well as you'll, you'll hear the output here. In the down position, it signals a rest, so there's no accent and there's no output. And these two control the eighth notes, these three control the eighth note triplets. The quarter does not have an accent, unfortunately, but it's still very cool. <laughs> um, down at the bottom, you have what's basically like the serial output section. This is uh, accents, regular outs like here, uh, clock outs, as well as the select voltage. And the way this works is the output here could be either quarter note, eighth note, eighth note triplet, and that depends on the voltage of the select input, likewise for the accent. Um, it goes, uh, the input voltage is 0 to 2.5, you get quarter note, uh, 2.5 to 5, you get eighth note, and then higher than that, you get triplets. As far as the clock goes, you have a tap input, you just tap twice to set your clock going. There's also a switchable uh, phase lock loop, so you can input any kind of changing trigger, and it will phase lock to that, so you don't have to necessarily tap, tap, uh, tap the tempo input, you could have it sync from, you know, something from the a dope for 190 MIDI clock or through a clock divider or anything like that. Even another Model 28, you could take the quarter note out, put it in here, set one to phase lock, and now you've got two going in synchronization. There's also a halt run switch, um, and one of the cooler features of this is when you hit stop, it's going to actually complete the next note or as many notes as necessary to finish what would have been, uh, not necessarily a measure, but it basically doesn't stop immediately it kind of finishes its um, musical section, so to speak. So what's great is you can actually, if you feel things getting a little bit out of sync, um, you can hit this and hit it again really quickly, or actually three times, and it'll continue going. It's a good way to like sync things up if you feel them starting to drift out of, out of time. And lastly, there is a start and stop uh, inputs to control uh, the clock. Uh, on the start, if it gets a, a zero to I don't know, plus five or whatever it might be, pulse, it'll start, likewise on the stop. Um, it would be nice if there was a single input and it responded more like a, like a gate, but if you've got um, a couple and or uh, gates and set up a little logic there, you could do the same with, uh, with a keyboard. So on the keyboard press, the clock will start and then you let it go, invert, and stop. Uh, I don't have the modules to do that yet, so hopefully we'll do that at a different point. But let's get a couple patches going here, and so we can see how well it works. The phase lock. Okay, what I've got here is um, two oscillators coming out of the Dalek modulator. One tunes pretty low, kind of like a bass line. The other's tuned a bit higher with some frequency frequency modulation, and both of those are going into two halves of my uh, dual timbre gate. The uh, bass line part is being opened by the eighth note output, and I have the articulation switch set. So we're actually giving a rest on the second eighth note output, so we're really just hearing the first. On the second dual timbre gate, that one's being opened by the accent output of the triplets here. And currently I just have it set so we're hearing the uh, third eighth note triplet, and that's coming out the accent. Finally, on the quarter note, we're triggering a Model 10 polyphonic envelope, which is going to the filter, just a short little spike, kind of like 303 style spike in the filter every quarter note. So that kind of makes that quarter note kind of hit a little bit harder. Um, there's also a Vulcan modulator modulating the filter a little bit, so we're getting a little bit of sweep between fully open and a little bit closed. Let's hear what that sounds like. And of course you can play with these articulation, articulation switches in real time.
right, this is just going a little bit further with that last patch. Um, now we're actually going to be using the, um, the serial output section. The select um, input is coming from a Vulcan modulator on a sine wave LFO. So it's going to be selecting the, whether we're getting quarter note, eighth note, or triplet outputs out of this, which is going into the external trigger um, input of the Model 2024. 20, and you'll see right here, uh, it's basically going to be triggering a new step voltage, which is controlling the filter now rather than the LFO. Lastly, I've malted the quarter note output, and not only is it still triggering that MOL10 polyphonic envelope to hit the filter, uh, it's also opening the VCA. So before it was just kind of free running thing that had no master VCA controlling the volume, but now um, it's controlling another envelope that's, that's doing that. So let's give it a listen. Oops. <laughs> And that's pretty much the Model 28 tap clock. I'm sure you can do lots more, whatever your imagination can uh, think up. But this is pretty much how I like to use it. Tune in next time for what will most likely be the Vulcan modulator.